That was Young Zandi from Seattle in the USA uh, playing the, the beginning of Resurrection by Brian May from his solo album Back to the Light. Brian May's solo album, not Zandi's. Uh, Zandi's been taking Skype guitar lessons with me for the last couple of months. We've been looking at that album Back to the Light and uh, covering a lot of it. Uh, so in this lesson we're going to look at the single version of because there's a few different versions uh, the um, and it's slightly edited the uh, the single version so it kicks off with this phrase <laughs> right at the beginning and make no mistake about it this one is quite challenging uh, there's about three guitar solos in it and it's really guitar heavy but that first phrase we're starting on, as you can see on the guitar tab starting on the fifth fret of the D seven five seven five on A to the seventh fret of bottom A three left to the fifth fret of A coming down on the E seven five seven five so that's your first half we then going to do something similar but we're going to start on the seventh fret of A going seven five seventh the bottom eight out of the fifth coming down again seven five on bottom eight seven five again to the third five three oh Together. right at the beginning then as it kicks off we have this right that and again a lot going on in this and I think the single version slightly shortened where that's played through twice where I think on the album versions played through um, four times but we've got this like that so so palm mute in there so I've got G I'm not playing the bottom string so I'm just going to A to E5 That's the simple way of doing it. If you wanted to get a little bit more, you know, accurate, what we could do is, if you listen, you've got the like that. So we've got this E5 played like that, as you can see on the guitar tab, and then G A and an E5 like that with the fourth fret of G which is probably more what Brian May has done, but there's a lot going on, there's obviously two guitars playing at the same time. But it keeps things simple. And you can stick with that. Then we come to the intro solo, and we keep coming back to this phrase all of the time. And it's an interesting way that Brian May does it. It's a keeping, it's um, a phrase which is worked on later on, but different. It keeps going. It keeps like a main theme running through the song, and we have now. When Zandi played that one, he's using a different fingering, so it is different places that he can play it uh, on the guitar. But I've stuck with this, and again, the single version is slightly edited to the uh, the album version but it's pretty much, uh, very much the same. So we're going to bend up to the 12th on the 10th fret of the B. Then we're going 10, 7, 10. And again, I'm going to the E string, 7, 9. Then on the 10th, we're going to pull off 10, 9, 7. So we've got that. Ten twelve on B, 
10, 12 on high A, bend up, so go up, and again, and then bend that 12th up, so that in row again, Now when we're coming to the verses, they're the most simple thing out of the whole song. It is, the structure of the song isn't that difficult. It's all the guitar solos that are in it that make it uh, a really challenging song. Here we've got, we've got F sharp minor, B, A to E. Which is fairly straightforward. F sharp minor, B, A again. Then D, A, E. F sharp minor. B, A, E. F sharp minor. So that's written on the screen to follow and that keeps com coming around all the time. straightforward now I've written this out over four sheets and the link will be in the description uh, to the sheets to print off and I've really worked this out where I've got the intro on one sheet you know solo one on the next sheet solo two on sheet three and the out row solo or the third solo uh, on sheet four to keep things organized so when we come to the first solo again it's the the first phrase is based on the intro phrase and we have So again, we're on that 10 7 on the B. Move up to the 12th, to the 14th, and bend that up. Then 14 12. Bend up again that 14th. 12. I'm going to bend the 17th up. You could just go, but I, I don't know, that just sounds better to me, even though it's the same note. Then we have the, which is just bending the 17th of B, going to the 17th of high A. The 19th, and then we have this quick run, which can catch you out if you don't play quick enough. So on the 17th of high A, 17th of B, hammer on to the 19th, we'll go around again, 19, 17, 15, 16, 14, 16 on G. So here we have... Then finish the phrase off with... Be careful on the bends to be bending up, either not too much or not far enough. 17th, bend up to the 19th. As you go to the 19th, you're only bending up to the 20th. And then on the 20th, you're going to bend up to the 22nd. So all together, that should sound like this. We then come to solo two. Again, 
the phrase on the beginning is the same as the solo for it, the intro phrase. I'll do that again. I'll try to play that slowly instead of like rocketing through it. So we've got the, as you can see on the guitar tab, 12 14. Then we have this, like, not a shrill, a trill, but on there on the 15 14 and 14 15 17 on B, then on high E, 14 17 19. 14, 17, no, 17, 14, 17. I'll play that again so I've done something like a bingo caller. Then on the next line, 14th of high eight of the 17th of the B. Bend the 17th up. Then we have this. Descend and run 17, 15, 14 on B, 16, 14, 12 on the G, same again on D, back to G, back to D, down to the A, and then 15, 14, 12 on bottom A. So we have that. Like that. Then an ascending run, 12, 14, 16 on A. Same again on the D. 14th of G to the 12th of G. So you've got that. Running through a G chord, 16th fret of G, 15, 15, 14, 17, 15 on B. And then the end phrase which is thirteen sixteen on J, fifteen seventeen on B, fourteen sixteen sixteen on high. Yeah? 17, 19, then the 20th up. So all together we should have. how that bit goes. Now we have a bridge also which I like because it's kind of a key change. That was kind of creepy. You could play it. And really first fret of bottom A for the F note on one three four to the third of A and then again second fret so watch out for that bit then comes the really probably the most difficult part of the whole thing which is this tapping solo and if I'm honest I haven't mastered this to the degree that I'd like to. If you watch the video, you can actually see a close-up of Brian May's hand, well, kind of a close-up 
of him playing it not exactly what he's doing but you get an idea of what he's doing and what we do what's happening there is um, it starts off as you can see on the guitar tab and I've tried to write this out like in a shorthand way so that you're not you don't go boggle died with just millions and millions of notes we're going to tap on the 19th and then go to the 15th to the 12th you're going to do that four times then on the high E 17th tap 15 12 and do that four times then tap on the 17th and do the 15th and the 4th which is four times then tap on the 19th and 17 15 four times so we should have next line we're going to be tapping on the 20th and 17 15 with this with the left hand four times 17th tap 15 12 on high e then tap on the 19th in the 15th and top and do that eight times one two three four one two three four so the whole of that beginning should sound like this. Now if this is going too fast, which I have a, a sneaking suspicion it is, revert, go back and then play it again. Instead of complaining that I'm going too fast. So we should have something like this. We then have this little bit, which probably is uh, the challenge, but it's not, it's not as difficult as it, as it may first seem. We're on the 19th fret with this finger and we're going to tap the 21st. And what he's doing there, and as you can see, it's tapping it 24 times. Now listen to the record and try and play it along with the record if you want to get the timing right. But what's happening there is he's going. So take a bending it up. And taking it back down and then he's going to do the same thing with this time on the B string 20th fret and the 22nd and that's really the best way I can explain this now after that we can see 17 19 21 now the 17th the first note and if you watch him play it looks like he's tapping now what I think he's doing is instead of tapping like that he's he's just flicking the note hammering under the 19th and, and uh, tapping the 21st so going so which is like that so he's not tapping first he's just flicking now we could continue on doing that and just go And then tap up to the 21st but because I, I got this this section uh, sent to me um, tabbed out and I wrote it out in shorthand possibly what he's doing is he's got his finger on the 17th and the 19th if this is if you want to be really really super duper accurate is he's on 17th 19th then it's going 1921 1721 so he's possibly flicking that tapping Pulling off to the 17th and tapping on the 21st, so going. Sorry. Doing that. That is. I found that not comfortable to do it quick, and I would have to spend. You'd never get the video because I'd spend that much time trying to get that little bit right. But essentially, what you can do is, if you, for me, if you want to wing, so I wing it. You could do it one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, like that. And then right at the end, we have 19, 20, 21, 
16 times and again I think he's flicking that for the 19th 20 Tottenham and you could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 like that that's possibly the best explanation you're going to get out of me of how to do it so what you should have all together there's still more to come so that's it played through slowly again a lot of people think that you've got to be able to play this through execute it amazingly fast and that then you just slow it down and somebody's going to be able to figure out what you're doing and that's really not the case you've got to play through slowly with a tab and you should be able to get it now right at the end we have this run Starting on the 15th fret of high A, 17, 15, 17, 15 on B, to the 16th of G, back to the 15th of B, so. Descending on the G, 16, 14, 16, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14th of D, coming back to the G, 14, 12, 14th of D. 12, 14, 12 on air, 15, 14, 12. Sorry. Brings you to the end of the song, and right at the end, which chapter do you like? Which here, um, at the end, which is like a D which is the 5th fret of high E, 7th of B and G, open D, and then he brings his first finger to the 4th. It's just a nice little touch. So as always, it's been probably one of the longest lessons I've done. I hope I haven't confused everybody with that uh, explanation of the tapping guitar solo. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'd like to thank Sandy for his contributions to